The cherry lata is a new tropical fruit that is part of the Inona family. Now the Inona family also contains very good tropical fruits such as sugar apple, cherry moya, custard apple, soursop, relinia, atamoya, and many more. Now the reason why this cherry lata is so special is because it's jeans. Now this cherry lata is actually mixed with a cherry moya as well as a custard apple, reticulata. Another reason why the cherry lata is such a unique hybrid for Florida growers is because it contains 50% cherry moya genetics. Now actually growing cherry moya in Florida is very difficult for us Florida growers being that cherry moya loves elevation and Florida being so low in elevation uh, we just really cannot grow it here. So it is better suited for uh, such as California if uh, you like cherry moya. But, being that the cherry lata, like I said earlier, is 50% cherry moya as well as 50% reticulata, it is very cool and interesting that we're able to grow this species here because it, you know, it contains a cherry moya genetics, which we usually have very hard trouble growing here. Growing this tree overall all season has been very easy. The tree is very hardy itself and typically it it really didn't have any problems whatsoever in the leaves. You know, as you could tell, the leaves are very green, very healthy. Now it is grafted onto pond apple rootstock. And in the area of the yard, it does get a little bit of induation from time to time in the rainy season. So, you know, the cherry lotta really, really loves that. John Painter in Pine Island, Florida, actually was the one to create this hybrid. And as you could tell, it it does very well in our Florida soils, especially here located in Bradenton, Florida, zone 9B. The fruit itself bears a very bright ruby red color and mostly all season I protected it uh, with an organza bag for the pests and bugs. Now it did get a little bit of sunburn at the very top and as you could tell the base or the trunk of the tree it appears to be very like a custard apple reticulata like. Something also very unique about this hybrid is that it should be able to hold through the cold winters in Florida, although we don't get many due to its cherry moda genetics and uh, reticulata because those two species are kind of known for being a little more cold hardier than other unknown species. Harley from Garden of Fell, and today we're going to be harvesting a cherry lata unknown of fruit. Now the way I know this is actually ripe or getting really ripe is because the texture when you squeeze it lightly it kind of pushes in it gets really soft uh, rather than this one is like rock hard and if, if you squeeze this one you know I get you could tell it's getting very soft to the touch. So here we have the cherry lotta fruit. The texture is very smooth. Now it does have the little ridges like a cherry moya does. As you can see, it has a very bright red color when it's ripe. And the skin actually feels very kind of waxy, but very smooth at the same time. Wow, what a beautiful inside. So the inside is very white and pinkish. Now it is more pinkish towards the outside and more whiter towards the inside.
Now the inside of the cherry lot is very soft right here. And as you can see, towards the outside, it's a very pink color. It kind of reminds me of a cherry moya on the inside, as you see. Very creamy kind of look. All right, so here's a slice of the cherry lotta that we're gonna be trying. So let's get to it. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. This is honestly better than what I was expecting. It's very creamy like a cherry moya, but you get this one like raspberry, very berry-like flavor. It's a bit stronger than Elisa at the Moya Berry flavor, but it's a very creamy texture to it as well. So here's another piece. Mm. <laughs> very, it's like a very light sweet, but you taste very berry. Not as chewy as like a PPC or at the Moya or um, like a, a Vietnamese sugar apple, but it is so very creamy, very smooth, Tastes very much like a cherry molia texture, but still has a very strong berry flavor of the unknown fruit. Mm. When when you get towards the skin, it's so so sweet and so like a berry. Mm. I really love this new Anona hybrid. It's like it's like eating cherry molia almost, but better because. You get that kind of, the atemoya flavor. That kind of like the sweetness pina colada of atemoya, as you see. Wow, this is very good, guys. Definitely recommend growing this variety of anona in Florida or wherever you are, if you can grow this, because of the taste, uh, the texture, the color, and really overall, the, the hardiness of the tree is a very strong tree, so. And the fruit is delicious. Better. This is better than what I had pictured in mind. Now, in my opinion, is this better than a sugar apple? I think so, just because the flavor profile is much more stronger and sweeter, and it's kind of like eating a cherry moya. Now, don't get me wrong, I love sugar apples too, but um, I also love cherry moyas. Any, really, all the fruits of them in the family. So, being able to grow this in Florida is really cool, just because of the the unique flavor profile it has, and the fact that it's uh, kind of like a cherry moya too, and custard apple. 